not truly understanding the scriptures is what I want to title this video. Not truly understanding the scriptures. And this is a video response back um, to you, Reverend Williams. Love your email. Um, powerful, powerful email about all the different Bibles, translations. Uh, you just want to know my input on this um, about why do I really believe so many people struggle with understanding the scriptures? Very, very great question. And not everybody, of course, is struggling. Uh, you know, from my old videos, I always say it like this, investigating. You may hear me say it in a lot of my old videos, there is a huge difference between reading and studying. Because many people read, 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 read. But the question is, how many people can comprehend truly what they read? Yeah, I read the Bible. I read the Bible. I read the New Testament. I read the Old Testament. I read the Scriptures. I read, I read. And here is the, the biggest issue, not with the Bible, but the way people interpret. We have to keep in mind that even in the 1611, even the King James Version of the Bible, back then the Bible was not rolled in English. And every time you have a translation, something gets left out. You think I'm lying? Go to the NIV version of the Bible. I spoke about this a while back. And the biggest confusion a lot of times when you decide a lot of churches, and you may be in a Bible study or whatever you're in, a Sunday school, or if you're at church on Saturday, whatever day, day of the week you go to church on, when they tell everybody to read together, pastor gets up and tells everybody to read together, and everybody's not reading the same thing. You got somebody over here reading this version. This person over on the other side reading the NIV. A pastor may be reading the, uh, uh, you know, the New Living Translation or whatever the case may be, and everybody words out loud is different. Because they were not talking in English, and I say this all the time and been saying this for many years, if you don't go back and read and study and understand what was really being said, because even with the King James Bible, these English words have more than one meaning. More than one meaning. And it had to be translated. But remember, when, it, when it's translated, they got some words they just had to find a fit in, you know, to just be honest. I'm not calling the Bible, you know, a liar in no kind of way. Trust me, I'm not saying it. I'm saying when it's translated, I mean, I'll give you an example. Thou should not kill. That's one of your most misunderstood scriptures, man, commandments, because a lot of people read that old Bible say don't kill, but then you look around and keep reading that same Bible, the Holy Spirit ordered to kill. Because there's a difference between kill and murder. It's actually thou should not murder, but a lot of preachers won't say that because murder is totally different than just, I mean, you cold blood just straight out murder somebody. That's totally different than killing because you can you can kill somebody in self-defense. Just like the Holy Spirit, Yahuwah told Joshua, kill them all. Kill them. Just use that for an example. So, and, and, and once again, they were not speaking in English. And a lot of people, when they, the first thing they read, they take it and stay right there. That's why I always tell you to get a strong concordance. Some people got the red letter Bible. Some got the blue letter Bible. A lot of people have the apocrypha. The taking out books. The chronological. When I, uh, I'm going to do a video to show you all these books I just got from my... One of my main partners I used to study with, man, who passed away. And he left me a lot of his study material. And he left another strong concordance, man. Uh, the uh, Man, y'all know I talk about this stuff all the time because you can go online and look at it too. But he left that, man. He left the chronological order. I mean, it breaks down what was really being said. But a lot of people won't spend that time to investigate. And that's why you have so many preachers in the pulpit that's teaching people and they 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 not investigating what the preacher's saying. I ain't talking about all pastors, of course. So they take what he say and that's it. They run with it. 
then they go tell somebody else. They run with. They go tell somebody else, and that's why confusion just keep going on and on and on because it's not too many people. Want to, people just really want to take out the time to sit down and investigate and truly study. Paul told Timothy, "Study to show yourself improving unto Yah." Everybody that call itself a believer, follower, that's true, hard down in the faith, should be studying on their own. But it don't work like that. A lot of people wait on a preacher. A lot of people waiting on Bible study. A lot of people waiting on Sunday school. A lot of people just won't take time out of their day. I mean, if you really spend time with the Holy Spirit, that's a beautiful. It's beautiful. You spend that time, man. The Holy Spirit will reveal to you. That's why growing up, I had to come out of all this stuff that I was taught. Man, I was I was brainwashed with a whole lot of lies, tradition of man, Christianity, man, all that stuff that just sounded good. But in reality, when you start studying, you pray in the Spirit, study in the Spirit, I guarantee you the Holy Spirit is going to show up and show you exactly what's being said. But you got to you got to go against what you was brought up in, if you was brought up just saying, only if you was brought up like me. You're going to have to go against those teachings. And, and a lot of people don't want to go against, well, that was the pastor man for 50 years. I don't care who it was. You was teaching wrong, you was teaching wrong. And when you study on your own, man, and, and, and cut that phone off, kind of block people out, man, and have that quiet time, it'll blow your mind. The truth shall make you free. But that's the issue I see once again to answer your question, man. It's just so many people, they take what the English version says without investigating it. And next thing you know, that's what they believe. That's why, man, it's so important to pray before you study. And it's so important to investigate and really just... See, studying is going to require more and more hours. Man, I know, I know people that can quote the Bible left and right, but they can't tell you exactly what it means. But they love to quote those scriptures. I give you an example on what I'm saying. It's just like, just like in our race of people, and I've said this in older videos. If you, if you, if you're a domino player, give me a thumbs up in this video. I'm gonna use dominoes for an example because it's. It's the same way. When you play dominoes, whether you're at a family reunion or wherever, your homeboy house is just getting together, whatever the gathering is, if you don't understand domino language, you're going to be at that table lost, especially if you're marking the score. If you don't understand the domino language, it's not what you think it is. If, I'm just saying, if you're not familiar with dominoes, fish and bread, keep a wealthy man fed. If you ain't never played domino in, in the black race, you're going to have a hard time understanding what it is. That just only means, that just means five points. Ella, Bella, and Stella. Somebody that don't know domino is going to think I'm talking about, you know, what, what, what them three women at? I'm talking about 15. That means 15. Or uh, bow them up. That means 20. If you play dominoes, you know what I'm talking about. But I'm just using a few of those, those words for an example, you know. It's just like, I'm going to use my vehicle for example. When I get a, when I get at her, is she really a woman? No, but I call her her. I call her Blessing. This is my old faithful vehicle. But when I say her, I'm not talking about a woman. And that's that's why the Bible is full of metaphors, parables, analogies. And if you don't understand the parables, man, first of all, you got to realize. That Bible is rolled to the Hebrew. Salvation came through the Hebrew first. Gentiles crafted in. And I'm not saying that to lower no Gentile. Talk bad about no Gentile. I'm just stating the facts of the Bible. The Holy Spirit of Yahuwah chose Israel. Some may pronounce it different. He chose the Hebrew, or some may say the Jew. Now, you got a lot of people that call themselves Jews. But when you when you look deeply at the old covenant, the old agreement, some may say the old testament, versus the new covenant, the new agreement, there are some differences. You see a lot of more grace and mercy 
in the New Covenant versus the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, you see more laws and consequences. You're talking about over 613 some laws. You had man-made laws also. And that's why when you teach the Bible, you're going to always have a conflict between Christianity versus a Hebrew Israelite. It's going to always be a different teaching. This is what I was just saying in the video I done about um, if Pastor Dowd and, and, um, and, and Pastor Geno Jesus, if they, if they do have that debate. That's why I was saying what I was saying in them, in them first two videos I did because if you know what Pastor Dowd teaches, going to be straight Hebrew Israelite. Gino believes that he's a Gentile, so it's going to be a different teaching. That's why they. That's why when you're talking about remarriage and, and, and divorce, that's that's why it's like it is between them two because of what Pastor Dowd goes. And see, one thing I can say too, uh, Pastor Dowd, he don't just look at the English version words of the King James Bible. You know, especially if you read if study the the, the Torah, you know. A lot of people don't went through the Torah, they went through the Quran. Man, I know Muslims. I'm, I'm being real when I say this. I know Muslims that know the the, the Bible. I'm talking about got a better understanding of the Bible than most of the Christians that I know. Because Christianity waters down a lot of stuff. I mean this out of love. It waters down a lot of stuff. That's why you got all these different teachers about rapture, pre-trip, mid-trip, post-trip. You're going to have all these different teachers because of what was originally said is not being originally studied, if that makes sense. And that's my little two cents on that, man. I love y'all, and y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.